what's up? Okay, I am so fucking ready for this fucking program. I'm so excited. I cannot fucking wait till the day after Valentine's Day. Oh, sorry, Chanel. I can't wait till Valentine's Day, but <laughs> the day after, cannot fucking wait to get this shit started. So today, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the Piana Keto Diet. Now, I kind of mentioned it in videos, I talked about it a little bit here and there, and um, a lot of people just completely cannot understand it whatsoever. Um, everyone's pretty familiar with the keto diet, what it is. The keto diet, you know, is protein and fats, zero carbs, right? That's what the keto diet is. Now, what a lot of people out there have to understand when it comes to anything, Pretty much anything in life, but let's talk about diets. When it comes to diets, that not everybody is gonna do the exact same thing, okay? I hope and I always assume that everyone knows this shit, right? That's my assumption, but it's not the case. <laughs> so, um, so, example, if I'm like 270 right now, someone else is 180. All right, you have to understand that my body is so different than that person's and I'm going to need more carbs than that person, period. And the keto diet, there's a lot of, people, a lot of guys out there, you know, that, that, you know, put people on the keto diet for bodybuilding shows and so forth. And it's not unheard of to add some carbs to the keto diet. It's not 100% has to be this way for every single person in the world. Um, you make adjustments to fit your needs, to fit what works best for your body. And you know, someone of my size is gonna benefit and is gonna be necessary to have some carbs. And um, the best thing you can put in your body after a workout is carbs to replenish the glycogen in the muscle. That's the best time to take in carbs. There is no better time. When I'm on zero carbs other than after my workout, when I eat those carbs, they just get sucked up into the muscle right away. It's like, boom. You train and you fucking take those carbs, you can see your veins start to pop out and you can feel fuller from those carbs because you haven't had carbs since the day before. You know, so that's the carbs, your body will suck those carbs off like it never would before. If you had carbs before you trained and then you drank a carb shake and you put took in more carbs, your body's not gonna suck those carbs up the same because you already have carbs in your system. Your muscles already have carbs. Now, when you're training on the stomach, you're burning fat, your, your muscles are craving glycogen. When you fucking put those carbs in, they just, your fucking body just sucks that shit up like, in, like injecting insulin. So putting carbs in at that point is the hugest benefit because your body is just fucking craving and eating those carbs. As soon as you put them in, you'll feel them fucking go to the muscle. You'll feel that shit. So to me, it's a huge advantage to not having carbs before I train and then putting the carbs in after because my body just sucks that shit up. So knowing this, the Piana Keto Diet should make perfect fucking sense. And to me, I've, you guys gotta understand that I've been doing the, I've been aware and been messing around with the keto for the last 15 years. Back when it was big and Atkins was big before he passed away, I was doing the regular Atkins diet. I did it for two years straight. Now, I've, what I've done is I've switched things around, I've tried different things, and I found out what works best for my body. So in other words, I didn't just listen to what so-and-so said and did exactly what he said and never use my own brain thinking, maybe there's a better way for my, my body. Maybe what he's doing for himself or what he believes is best, maybe isn't best for me. So why don't I experiment a little bit, try some shit out and find out what does work best for me. And that's pretty much how I live life and that's how I do things. I don't just read shit on the internet and copy it and assume that is the only way, that is the best way because that's never the fucking case, ever. If you want, to be successful in anything, you have to understand that. If you go around copying everyone exactly to a T, you're gonna fail. The whole point is coming up with new shit, right? 
figure out what is the best in everything. So in the Piana Keto Diet, I found that adding carbs after I train makes a huge fucking difference. And when I'm on a regular keto with zero carbs, I get super fucking flat, I get weak, and my veins pretty much vanish. That's me. Now, anyone that has a super fast metabolism and does the keto is going to fucking lose muscle. They're going to. And I'm sure people out there have tried it that have a fast metabolism and realize this shit ain't for me. You know, some bodies need a shitload of fucking carbs just to maintain. You know, some people out there need carbs. The keto diet won't work for fucking everybody. And if you are going to try the keto diet and you have fast metabolism, you're going to have to fucking add carbs to the keto diet or, it won't, or it's just going to eat your muscle away. So you got to figure out what the fuck is best for your body. That's most important. Don't listen to everyone else. Don't go read and figure it out for yourself. So when I explain the keto diet, explain what I do, you think about it logically and figure out, well, for me, if I was going to do this, I would probably have to change this or change that or, you know, manipulate whatever. Now, if you're someone that's overweight and you need to fucking lose a lot of weight, then the pure keto diet with zero carbs might be the right solution for you. Now, if you're someone that wants to put on muscle and lose body fat while you're doing the keto, then my suggestion is putting carbs in after you train. That's gonna you know, refuel the muscles and it's gonna keep the muscles fucking staying full and fucking growing. Without carbs, I don't think that happens. I don't think that's possible. Now I know if you're gonna go read and do research that the body's capable of turning fats into carbs and putting them in the muscle, but it's not the fucking same. It's, it's not as good as putting carbs in the fucking muscle after you train, period. Think about it. So that's basically, I'm putting out there what works best for me and what I'm doing and what I'm positive. I lose body fat like crazy and I still keep somewhat fullness and my vascularity still stays somewhat close and I'm enjoying the fucking diet. That's most important to me. All right, I'm not getting ready for fucking the Mr. Olympia show where you know I'm gonna sit and suffer my fucking ass off and fucking hate my diet and be miserable all fucking day long and be starving and be thinking about food and dreaming about food, you know, because I'm gonna you know win five hundred thousand dollars if I win the show. That's not me. I'm not doing a show, so I'm gonna do something that I fucking enjoy and I can get good results enjoying what the fuck I'm doing. That's very important to me. So. When I explain the keto diet the way I'm doing it, then understand that I'm doing something that I can enjoy in my life and have a great fucking day every day and also get great fucking results. That's what I discovered. Now, if you're a guy that is half my size and your body fat's around the same as mine, you know, when I say I put 60 grams of carbs, in my body right after I train, well, I would, I would suggest that you go with 30 or 40 grams. It's very easy to figure this shit out. That makes sense, right? So you do the keto diet after you train, maybe you're putting 30 or 40 instead of 60 because you don't have the muscle mass, you're not gonna need 60 grams, right? Very easy to manipulate shit to fit your body. So when I explain my diet, that's what the fuck I'm doing and that's what I need to make clear because people constantly, I explain that, yeah, I, you know, 60 grams of carbs after I train, they're like, that's not keto, that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. It's like, gee, are these people really, like, <laughs> really? Like, you, you fuck, whatever the fuck you read, you fucking follow and you, you never heard of, of finding the best way and realizing that everyone has a different body, everyone needs to figure out what's best for their body. You're never going to get anywhere if you don't learn your fucking body. So what I'm putting out there is the best scenario for me. So what I would like people to do is use that as a guideline and then figure out what the fuck works best for you. Now, does that not make sense? I cannot figure out the best fucking diet for any of you out there. If you guys wanted to pay me 500 bucks to write you a diet, I can't know the best diet for each and every one of you. You guys could figure out the best diet for you. 
better than anyone else. I don't give a fuck who it is, how much they fucking charge to write you out a diet. If you are willing to put that little bit of effort in to learn your body, you will be able to figure out the best diet for yourself. So think about that shit. All right, I'm just trying to fucking help you. I'm trying to save you some fucking money and teach you that you have the capability of knowing more than anyone else in this fucking world when it comes out what works best for you. It's trying shit, looking in the mirror, manipulating shit until you finally come to the best fucking scenario. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully the people that don't realize this, which is a large majority, not talking shit, just saying what, what I what I seem to think when I talk to people and you know get to know people and it seems like a lot of people don't realize this shit. They just fucking, they want someone to show them what to do and they want to follow that shit exactly. Well, the best results are fucking learning your body. So real quick, let's run through this shit. All right, I get up in the morning, I fucking do my morning cardio on an empty fucking stomach, I do some vacuums on an empty fucking stomach, and then I drink my shake. Now, shakes, real quick, you guys know this. A real fucking food shake. So my morning shake consists of egg crystals, almond milk, almond butter, and ice. Now that is a zero carb, good fat, great motherfucking protein for a great fucking shake. And the reason I have a shake first thing after cardio and vacuums is because I'm fucking starving and I just want to fucking you know, put something in that's get to me quick and easily digestible. So when I go train, you know, I'm fucking ready to go. I don't need to wait around and wait for it to digest or whatever. Sometimes I might not train right ever, but that's kind of the habit I've gotten into. So that's just me personally. Now, you don't have to use egg crystals, my product. You can use liquid egg whites, all right? You guys know this shit. You can go to the grocery store, buy liquid egg whites. You can, you know, 24 seven, that's what I used to use before I created the product that makes it, you know, a lot more convenient, you know, to have it in a fucking powder form, egg whites, and it is 100% egg whites, but it is a little more expensive. So if you can afford that shit, great. And it's also flavored. You know, chocolate is the shit. But if you can't afford it, stick to the fucking liquid egg whites. I don't give a fuck. I'm just trying to tell you what's the best possible scenario to put in your body, and it's real fucking food. Now, next, this is my post-workout shake. Real fucking carbohydrates. Real carbs, no maltodextrin, no fucking dextrose, no fucking sugar, no fucking bullshit. Real fucking carbs, all right? My suggestion, people that don't have a lot of money to spare, oatmeal. Buy fucking oatmeal, the big ass fucking Quaker fucking containers. It's cheap as fuck. Put fucking oatmeal in your shake. You're trying to make a weight gain or shake, whatever the fuck kind of shake you're trying to make. If you need carbs, Oatmeal, all right? The best source is yams, but how are you gonna put yams in a shake? Buy my product, real food. If you can't afford that, then whatever, buy oatmeal. Uh, yams in a fucking baby, you know, fucking jar is super expensive. Um, you know, you could eat fucking yams, you can bake them in the oven and eat them. Um, you know, my product is basically yams, sweet potatoes, oats, and blueberries, which is the perfect, fucking combination for real fucking carbs. Now, again, if you can't afford my product, buy oatmeal. God damn it, go to the grocery store, buy liquid egg whites, or even buy fucking, don't buy real egg whites because it's not pasteurized, you can get fucking salmon, salmon what is it, salmonella, I can't even that shit. So don't buy fucking real egg whites and crack the shit and put it in the shit. You can't, you can't do that, you gotta buy liquid egg whites. You know, you buy them at the grocery store, you buy them from a fucking reputable company, you guys, you know, you guys know I use 24-7 when I was doing that shit, or you buy my product, you know, egg crystals, and when it comes to the carbs, fucking grocery store oatmeal, right? So that's the best scenario. So when we talk about a shake, I'm talking about real fucking food. So that's the bottom line, is I'm just making the point that it's real food, so that counts as a motherfucking meal, all right? Next up. My next meal is one of my 5% meals. Um, it is basically protein and vegetables with, a, with some fats, you know, no carbs. So no carbs for the first meal, no carbs for the second meal. Now you can have food in the morning for breakfast. You can have fucking food as your next meal. You can have fucking food every meal. You know, the only time I suggest you have a shake is after your workout. That's the most important time that it's crucial to have a shake Make sure it's real fucking food. 
So we're gonna start off with four meals, right? Four meals a day. Now, if you're someone that you're, you're already on a mission for whatever it is, stick to what the fuck you're doing. I don't want someone going from six meals to four meals because that's not gonna be a good scenario. So if you've been doing something for a while and you're getting results and you're up to six meals, you're on, then you fucking stay at six meals and just follow along from there. Um, I'm starting at four meals. <clears throat> four meals for me while doing the keto works great. Now, something I notice with my body when I'm doing the keto diet is that sometimes I eat four, sometimes I eat six, sometimes I eat five, and my body doesn't seem to change that much. When I don't have carbs in the equation, carbs seem to really manipulate my body weight and my water retention. Four meals a day, that's where I'm starting. You guys are gonna figure out where you're starting. If you're at five, you're at six, stay there. You don't need to go down. I'm just telling you, switch over to the keto, right? If you wanna get fucking shredded and you wanna get lean, I guarantee you, you go to this keto diet and you are gonna fucking get shredded. You're gonna lose water weight in the first two or three days. You're gonna see it. You're gonna look in the mirror and be like, holy shit, you're gonna see a big fucking difference in the first couple days. And as your body gets used to it, I'm telling you, in two weeks, huge difference. I mean, anyone out there that's done keto, they know this shit. Your body changes like crazy. It's unbelievable how fast it changes. And what you do is you play with it. If you feel like you're losing muscle or you feel like your muscles aren't as full, then you add a little bit more carbs for that after training shake. You know, I, I played with it. You know, I used to do 40 and I felt like after a while, I felt like, you know what, I think I need a little more than 40 and I bumped it up to 60. I did 60 and I fucking felt, I could feel the difference. I was like, fuck, 60s is shit. And I stayed at 60 and I found like, I found that 60 is the best for me. And that's, that's all, you have to learn your body, trial and error. You know, you figure that shit out. No one can tell you. This is the diet I'm doing, all right? And I, the reason I had to put piano keto is because people don't understand if I call it keto, and I add some carbs or add some sugar, people are like, oh, that's not keto. What are you talking about? It's not keto. Okay, so motherfuckers, it's not keto. It's piano keto, all right? It's a new fucking diet. So now you can't talk no more shit because now it's a new version of keto. It's the piano keto motherfucking diet, all right? So anyway, guys, I'm super fucking excited.